One of the most powerful conservative politicians in this country is stepping down. Candace Bergen, who represents the Manitoba riding of Portage Liscar and who was interim leader of the party, resigned today. The CBC's Ian Fraze joins us now live from the newsroom with more on this. Ian, what is Bergen saying? Well, she's saying her 14 years as an MP have been incredible and fulfilling. She said back in September of last year that she would not seek re-election, but we did not know when she would quit until today. In a tweet, Bergen wouldn't tease what's ahead for her, but says her spirits are high. I'm choosing to leave now, not because I'm tired or I've run out of steam. In fact, it's the exact opposite. I feel hopeful and re-energized hopeful for our strong and united Conservative Party and our caucus under the courageous and principled leadership of my friend Pierre Paul Hebert. Bergen climbed the ranks of the federal Conservative Party, ending the long gun registry when she was a member of Stephen Harper's government and more recently serving as interim party leader. Political scientist Kelly Saunders says Bergen made a big impact. We see that upward progression uh, for her in a way that we don't, unfortunately, see often enough for women. So I think that is quite incredible. And the fact that she took over the party at a, at a particularly tumultuous time, of course, she stepped into the role as leader of the opposition after Erin O'Toole left, left the position, and the party was very divided. And so, you know, she was chosen from amongst the ranks of the Conservative uh, caucus to really lead the party and, and, and bridge those factions. Her tenure wasn't without controversy. Uh, Bergen initially supported the truckers' convoy in Ottawa. Now, Ian, Bergen's departure means a by-election in Portage Liscar is going to need to be held. What might be more interesting is, is who wins the Conservative nomination in this riding. It's a, a Tory stronghold, isn't it? That's right, Janet. Former Manitoba Finance Minister Cameron Friesen is in the running, but his win is no guarantee. All we see is higher taxes, woke liberals, and less freedom. Justin Trudeau is trying to ban, outlaw, and marginalize our rural way of life. Brandon Leslie, who ran Bergen's 2019 election campaign, is in the running for that nomination as well. And he's already taking jabs at Friesen for supporting COVID restrictions. Mr. Leslie has come out swinging and hard, uh, and so I think it's going to be a very competitive race there, and, and, and it looks like, uh, you know, quite a, perhaps a little bit of a dirty one as well. Former uh, provincial Tory staffer Liz Reimer is also seeking the nomination. Janet. We'll be watching what happens. Thank you so much, Ian. That's our Ian Fraser reporting live from the newsroom tonight.